Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Yo, man, you already know, man, what y'all need to do, y'all need to go down there, subscribe to the channel, also hit the notification bell there, that way you know when I, you know, drop a video. Um, but the most important thing you gotta do, guys, for me, please, is you have to like the video. If you click like, that means that YouTube shares my channel with other, you know, um, viewers that are looking for the same information as you guys, you know, so let's help each other out. All you gotta do is like, subscribe, notification, all the free stuff, easy stuff, that's it. Um, and if you don't like my content, then I understand, you know what I'm saying? I understand that, you know, so no hard feelings. I'm just here for you guys. I'm here for to give you um, good, honest opinions of the radiology field. And um, so I'm here for. So anyway, uh, I always get a lot of comments, man, you know, and, you know, the most important comments I like to read the most, to be honest, is about students. Because, you know, you feel bad, man, because some of these students are struggling in, you know, academically or, you know, um, just in clinicals. So I just made a video on how to survive the clinical rotation in radiology. So let me give five of my personal opinion, um, five things you should do or, yeah, you should do to prepare yourself for to be a good clinical student and to survive and you know move on to the next thing and feel confident and comfortable to you know eventually become a you know professional in radiology um once you become art certified and all that good stuff so the first one that i want you to do and keep in mind is you have to be on time number one thing you have to be on time because uh you know, nobody wants to work with a student, a stu especially a student that's late. You know, we don't like to work with people that are real techs and are late, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you feel like they, they don't have respect for you as a person because of the fact that all the, especially the overnight tech, you know, my job is to relieve, for instance, my job is to relieve the overnight tech, right? So I have to be here at 5.30 in the morning. So we can do portables in the morning, and one as soon as we get as soon as we get done with portables, they go home, you know. So they rely on me to come in because they want to go home, you know. They've been here all night. So if I was to come in at six, six ten, and then he can't leave till seven, seven thirty because of the portables, then he's not gonna be real happy with me, you know what I'm saying? So this thing you have to be on time, you know. So you want to be a good student, you have to be on time, okay? Be on time and be prepared to do what you got to do. Be on time. Um, the number two is that you have to be interactive. You know what I'm saying? You have to be interactive. You have to, um, you know, this, this goes with anyone, whether you're a student or whether you're a tech. You're not going to like everybody you work with. You're not going to like everybody you come in contact with. That's just, we're human. We're, it's life. You're not, you're not going to like everybody. But you being a student, you have to understand that you have to um, present yourself in a different light. You know, whether you like that person or not, you can't sit there and, 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 and not like somebody, you know, you don't, you can't afford that because that person literally has, you know, your career in their hand in a way because, you know, they can easily kick, kick you out of clinicals and then you know how hard it is to get clinical sites, you know, so you have to be in your best behavior and you have to be interactive, you know, when you go in the department, you know, good morning to everybody, you know, and just, just be, you have to be happy, you have to be chipper. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just like that regardless. That's just my personality. So I like to go get in here in the morning. Hey, good morning. How's everybody's day? How's everybody's week? Because I'm a weekend person. So when I come out on Fridays, the, they're tired of the week. And I'm like, well, how was the week? You know, whatever. You know, just just being active. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you we have to see each other on a weekly basis anyway, on a daily basis. So you might as well be happy about it, right? So be interactive and um, just have a good attitude. Uh, the third one I think is super, super, super important is that you have to show initiative. You have to show that. You have to show that you want to be there. You have to show that, you know, you want to learn and you have to take that, um, that action to do that. You know, you can't sit there and be one of those techs that, or students that come in and be like, oh, I've never done a chest x-ray. I'm just going to sit back and I'm not ready. Um, 90% of the time, it's, uh, see one, do one. You know what I'm saying? You see a chest x-ray, the next one you're going to have to tr jump in there and, uh, and try to do it. You know, I understand it, it's, it's, it's scary because you're dealing with radiation, you're dealing with real-life patients, 
And some of the patients aren't always uh, the happiest patients either. They're not always the nicest. But you can't be scared. You have to show initiative. Um, you have to show that you want to be there. You know what I'm saying? And you're willing to work. You know, um, and I had a comment the other day and they're like, oh, well, I'm doing really good in school, but I'm, I'm, I'm lacking at the clinical sites. They say that I'm not doing good with my chest x-ray portables or... I can't run a portable machine good, like, you know, I'm kind of nervous and I'm, and I'm scared. I understand that. So you as a te as a student, going to be a professional technologist, so what you need to do is that you need to be like, you know what, nobody's here, it's a little slow, I'm going to take the portable down the hallway, turn it, twist it, play with it, learn all the buttons on the portable, that way when it's time to shine, when it's my time to go again, I'll be ready. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't show that initiative. They just go do, you know, what they have to do and they don't put that extra effort into it. You know what I'm saying? And um, you're not going to be a great tech like that or you're not going to catch on that size because you're not putting that extra help, that extra work. You know, it's like, you know, going to practice. You go to practice uh, baseball. And if you don't practice when you're at home on your time off, you're never going to be one of the best ones on the team. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not putting that extra effort. You know, so you have to put that extra effort to get better, you know what I mean? So um, show initiative, guys. Go out there, show initiative, and, and just, you know, show that you want to learn. And I promise you, 99% of the time, the techs will will want to be with you and, and show you more and teach you more because you're showing that you want to learn. Uh, number four is, um, just like I said, you know, be respectful. Uh, you have to show respect to everybody, man. Like I said, you're not going to like everybody, but you have to show respect to everybody because... You have to understand that the radiology field is a small, small field. I know people, I'm, I live in down Florida, down South Florida, and I know a lot of people in North Florida. I know a lot of people in Texas, uh, California, and it's about word of mouth. But word of mouth, by people you meet along the way, I've been in the medical, the radiology medical field for, for, for 12 years, I don't know what I was thinking, for 12 years, and you meet different people all over the world, you know, all over the, well, I can't say world, but all over the you know us because of the fact that you meet travelers you know you work at different places um and you meet a lot of people and the radiology field is super super small so be super respectful don't talk bad about co-workers don't talk bad about no other facility because you never know who you're talking to so be super smart and you know super um you know alert on who and what you're talking about you know what i'm saying but be respectful you need to be respectful um, the fifth, and I think this is something that a lot of people, a lot of students don't understand either, and I'm not sure they don't tell them in school, and if they do, um, great, you know, but you have to understand that when you're in clinicals and you're a radiology clinical student, whether you're radiology, nursing, it don't matter, if you're in a clinical setting as a student, you have to understand that that is literally a job interview. Honestly, they're going to make sure and they're going to check on you and every move you make, and it's not just from one person. As from all the technologists, they're all going to have an opinion about you on what kind of person you are, what kind of student you are. You know what I'm saying? How much do you talk when you're in a department, when it's slow, do you talk about people? You know, do you talk about your classmates? They're going to they're gonna see all that. Your attitude, you know, your motivation, your initiative, like, you know, they're going to see if you're on time. They're going to definitely see if you're um, interactive. They're definitely going to see if, um, if you are initiative and put in the work and want to learn. You know, they're going to see if you're respectful. So you have to understand that, guys, that that is a job interview. You know, so the more you understand these five topics I told you, you'll know how to survive radiology clinicals. Um, and like I said, man, a lot of techs, everybody's there, you know, and, uh, and you're always going to have that one tech that don't want to have students. And, you know, you're going to have that one tech that loves students. And, you know, but most part, man, to be honest, all the technologists I've ever been to as a student and working, 99% of them are super cool. You know, you always have that one person, though, that you don't want to be around, that one person nobody likes for whatever reason. But that's just, that's is life. Like I said, we're human. And, you know, at the end of the day, everybody's not going to like you. You're not going to like everybody. But you have to be, um, what is that word looking for? You have to be, um, you have to get along. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to look for that word. I don't want to come out. But you have to be along. You, you have to get along. You have to understand that it's a job and you're there to take care of patients. You know, so anyway, guys, I hope this helped. 
as always, you know, thank you for staying. Thank you for watching my videos. I truly, truly appreciate your support.